Hello everybody. Today I want to make a second part of a video which I made a few days ago and I posted it actually a few days ago. Um, this is to continue and I'm sorry about the, the shameless plug of my, of my own channel there. So I posted this manual and booklets for my 2006 Lincoln Town Car. It's not my most popular videos. It's only got 23 views as of I think it's been up for a few days. Um, and, you know, I understand it's not for everyone looking at uh, manuals of a car and different brochures, and that's okay. It's a good experience for me. So today I'm going to make a part two, and this is to make a video about this. This interactive owner experience for 2006 model town car. For some reason, not Lincoln town car, just model town car. And this is the CD. This is the very interesting piece of material which i did get um you know after purchasing that uh pouch that you can actually see on the background there and um i'm sorry how for how it looks but i'm literally filming a computer screen and and you'll find out soon enough why i'm doing it this way but it's this cd i'm gonna try to focus in it's copyrighted 2005 so it's a 15-year-old technology, and this is supposed to be, as it says, an interactive owner experience. It's a very interesting uh, piece of material that you would get as a, as a new owner of one of these cars. Now you can kind of see it right there, also interactive owner experience. And, you know, before making this video, I actually went on YouTube and tried to find another video of this, because to be honest with you, I haven't even, I haven't played with this CD for more than a few minutes. Um, and to the best of my knowledge, I couldn't find any other videos of, of this. So maybe this will be something interesting. So the video of the, of the booklets and everything, you know, that's not getting a lot of views and, and it's okay. I, I had fun, uh, making that video. So maybe I'm thinking that this would be more interesting. So first and foremost, I, I like on the back of it, look at these requirements, 333 megahertz or faster windows, Pentium PC, windows 98 or higher, or Macintosh power, PC, let me try and zoom it in, not zoom it in, like focus in, uh, all right, okay, 64 megabytes of RAM, 40 megabytes of available hard disk space, and QuickTime 5, so it's very, very interesting, so, and it's a copyright 2005, it's content made in Singapore for some reason, uh, QuickTime made with Micromedia and some sort of a product code. So first of all, when was the last time you ever saw requirements like this? I mean, I think even by the standards of 2005, I mean, most computers were way faster than this. So that's one thing. Second thing is that I actually tried reading some of the things it said here, and I'm going to try to zoom it in here. Uh, let's see, how can I do this? Welcome to your Lincoln Interactive Owner Experience. To access introductory feature of the Content Plus CD in, in any audio CD player, to access the comprehensive feature information, place the CD into a CD-ROM drive. So apparently, you know, I have not actually tried playing it in the CD player. Maybe, maybe I'll do that uh, as, an, as another video, just plug it into my car and see what, what comes out of there. Uh, when combined with other elements in your glove box, this CD will help answer any questions and direct you to the right place to find information you seek. Not only will you uh, see your vehicle in action, but you also learn more about benefits of owning a Lincoln. Then it unfolds here. Look at this. To begin your experience, follow these simple steps. Uh, for the basic overview, please. Oh, well, then it just repeats itself again here. Focus, focus, focus. There you go. Uh, yeah, so place it in the CD player. Yeah, like I said, I haven't, I didn't think about it. Got a nice picture of a steering wheel and a little bit of a dash. And then you have come to this portion for more in-depth information, place the CD into your computer. So that's what I'm going to be doing. For the most detailed information, be sure to review your printed owner's guide. Also remember, thorough review your schedule maintenance. All right, and then it has some uh, pictures here, the Lincoln sill plate. And then it's interesting instruction here. So to begin the Windows-based PC, See, begin on a Windows-based PC. Okay, and the most version, 
we'll play immediately close all the programs that may be running so step number one i guess this technology uh, back in the day did not they did not want you to run a background stuff and then plays the cd because the awesomeness of this cd might just totally destroy your computer or freeze it um place interactive experience as a cd run double click my computer all right so then it gives all the all the information so all right, I will pause for a second, and then here in the back, uh, we already saw that. And then actually, here's the CD itself, because, sorry for that noise, the cat is going crazy. Here's the actual CD right here. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to have to make the room dark, because the, the glare and the reflection from the, the screen might kill any sort, any sort of visual. And we will proceed with actually placing the CD. All right. Okay, so with the CD placed inside this laptop, and it's trying to start, I am gonna try to film this in a way where you guys obviously can see everything. And I'm using this older laptop because it's the only one I have with an actual CD-ROM. All the other, you know, my my laptop, the one that I use is actually does not have one. It, it's a more recent version. This one is probably two to three years old. So I placed the CD in, it should autoplay, and which I tested it right before starting this, and now it does not want to autoplay. Let's see what's going on. All right, I figured out a, bit, a little bit better lighting situation, and it took probably about a good 30 to 40 seconds for this uh, screen to pop. So I'm going to run the town car executive file and publisher not specified. Well, that's interesting. Why it's not Ford Motor Company, but all right, we're waiting. Waiting for the file, waiting for the file. It shouldn't really be that long. All right, starting the intro. At a first glance, Lincoln Town Car sophistication seems classic. To learn more about your new Lincoln, click on any of the feature categories in the lower right corner. Also, be sure to check out distinctive features and all of the links at the top of the screen. If you wish to visit Lincoln's official website, click on the logo in the upper left corner. Or to exit the CD, roll your cursor over the main menu button and choose the exit option. All right, so I did my best to kind of show you as close as possible to the screen. Um, probably gonna pause for a second and, and rethink how am I gonna shoot this, <laughs> making my room totally dark to avoid any sort of glare so you can't see me. Um, yeah, this is, a, this is gonna be a bit of a challenge, but this is, you saw the intro, you saw the, the you heard the music, you saw the classic, clock just kept going back and forth um all right so this was the intro you're gonna have to pause as far as to, to read what it said on the screen um all right and i'm gonna try to explore all the different uh buttons there as you can see on the lower right and all right we'll get back to you okay i had to rethink my strategy once again um hoping that this will come out all right i did some tests once again so this is the main menu. So I'm literally filming the, disp the, the monitor of a laptop th that I'm using to run this. I don't have any sort of fancy software on it. So I'm trying to use this Gorilla Tactic uh, because just, you know, purchasing a 
CD drive for this particular video. I just seemed like more hassle than it's worth. So anyway, after the introduction, you get to the screen, this music loop that you're hearing, it just plays nonstop. There is a volume cursor, uh, control actually, like right above this. I don't want to move it, so not to mess up the angle again, but I'm going to try to control it to the best of my ability. So there's a main menu right here. It gives you home, help, contact, and exit. I wonder who are they going to say to contact if you click on it. Okay, it's a nice picture of a boat. Oh, okay. Well, it just gives the contact information for Ford Motor Company. I like how they have Ford Motor Company. They don't have Lincoln anywhere on it. But it says, at Lincoln, we're committed of providing you with the best ownership experience possible. So it says right there. And then it does give you a link, which I'm pretty sure will take you to the Lincoln's website. But just to avoid making this video three hours long, I'm going to not go there. All right, I'm going to go back home. All right. So anyway, it does say here on the left, in order to begin your interactive owner experience, place your cursor over any of the items, blah, blah, blah. You know, be sure to check out the distinctive features section. All right. Well, let's go right here. Let's go through the first tab. All right. I love the loading. Okay. Something's happening. All right. Select one of the features oh, it talks. listed to the left in order to learn how each one helps make your vehicle distinctively Lincoln. If at any point you would like to learn more about the given feature, click on the link provided in each paragraph. To access the owner's guide content provided on this CD-ROM, click on one of the four main buttons located at the bottom right corner of the screen. For the most comprehensive information available, please consult your printed owner's guide. All right, going in for the first one, audio system. Your audio system offers the speed sensitive volume feature, which allows the radio volume to automatically compensate for road and wind noise as the vehicle's speed increases. Your audio system also offers the Radio Data System, RDS, feature. With this feature, your audio system is able to receive text information from RDS-equipped FM radio stations. All right, that's good to know. I like how the picture on the background, that's actually, I believe, from either an older model or the signature L or something like that, because that's not how my radio looks. Mine does not come with a CD deck, and it does come with a six-disc CD changer. So it wasn't, it's either this is an older picture or just obviously not for my particular car. All right, climate control. The dual zone climate control system allows the driver and front seat passenger to select different temperature and fan settings for personal comfort. When the air conditioning is operating, recirculated air helps to reduce the amount of time required to cool the inside of the vehicle. Recirculated air can also reduce undesirable odors from entering the vehicle. Also, remember that your rear window defroster control not only clears the rear window of ice, mist, and fog, but also heats both outside mirrors when the control is activated. The rear window defroster control is located on the instrument panel. So, you know, it does have these links, so maybe if I just click on it, it'll do something else. Just curious. What's going to happen? Oh, okay, it just takes you to the next one. Oh, okay, no, it does something different. Interesting. To learn how a feature works, roll your cursor over any of the red highlighted areas. Next, click on the highlight to activate the accompanying text and voiceover. When looking for specific information, use the quick menu located in the upper right corner of the screen. Or if you want to view an entire feature presentation, just choose the play option. Each feature's location can be referenced by the red box and the vehicle graphic located at the bottom of the screen. Wow. Press this control to manually enable or disable recirculation operation in all modes except defrost. 
When the air conditioning is operating, recirculated air helps to reduce the amount of time required to cool the inside of the vehicle. Recirculated. Press the fan speed control to manually adjust the fan speed. When the fan speed is controlled while in automatic operation, the auto indicator will remain lit and the system will remain in the automatic mode. To return to automatic fan operation, press auto. For more information, please consult your owner's guide. Wow, so this is way more comprehensive than I ever thought it would be. I mean, this is literally every button in here. And this it talks. This manual override control distributes outside or recirculated air through the instrument panel registers and the floor ducts. The AC will only function if the outside temperature is above approximately 2 degrees Celsius, 35 degrees Fahrenheit. The air distributed through the floor ducts will be slightly warmer than that sent to the instrument panel registers. To return to full automatic control, press auto. For more information, please consult your owner's guide. Press the FC control to switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius temperature on the DEATC display. The temperature in Celsius will be displayed in half degree increments. The English metric EM control on the message center, if equipped, and the trip computer will not change the temperature display. For more information, please consult your owner's guide. All right, so this is obviously going to take a long time, so... Yeah, I did not expect that. Like I said, I played around with it for just a little bit. But this is insane. Control the temperature for the driver. Select the desired temperature by pressing the driver temperature controls. For more information, please consult your owner's guide. All right, enough of that. Let's go to the next one. Multifunction headlamp control is located to the left of the steering wheel. Your vehicle may be equipped with durable, cost-efficient HID, high-intensity discharge headlamp. Auto lamp control. The auto lamp system provides light-sensitive automatic on-off control of the exterior lights normally controlled by the headlamp control. The auto lamp system also keeps the lights on for a pre-selected period of time after the ignition switch is turned to the off position. To turn the auto lamps on, rotate the control counterclockwise. To turn the auto lamps off, rotate the control clockwise to the O off position. To program the amount of time the auto lamps stay on, one, turn the ignition to the off position, two, turn the headlamp switch to the auto lamp position, three, Turn the headlamp switch to the O off position. Four, turn the ignition to run and then back to off. Five, turn the headlamp switch to the auto lamp position. Six, wait the desired amount of time for delay, then turn the headlamp switch to off. Seven, steps three through five need to be performed within 10. All right, I'm gonna stop it right there. So, is this really necessary? I mean, it's seven steps. I know the older models had like a selector, basically. It's like a position right there to basically just, you know, put the selector in where you want it, how much you want it away. I mean, this is, this is actually news to me. I didn't even know that this is possible. So, it's a good thing that I'm actually doing it right now. Oh, look, it moves, it loads. But yeah, this is, uh, I never knew that this was going to be that in depth. So it's like every single thing. Push the turn signal lever toward the instrument panel to activate high beams. Pull the lever toward you to deactivate high beams. Pull the lever. The panel dimmer control is used to adjust the brightness of the gauges on your instrument panel during headlamp and parking lamp operation. Rotate the thumb wheel wow. to the right to brighten or to the left to dim. Rotate the thumb wheel fully to the right to also turn on the dome lamp. Yeah. 
interesting. Message Center. The electronic message center located on your instrument cluster displays important vehicle information through a constant monitor of vehicle systems. This system only works when the ignition is in the on position. Select. Press this control to select functions shown in the setup menu. Reset. Press this control to reset functions shown in the setup menu. Info menu. Press the info control to display the following. Trip odometer, odometer, distance to empty, average fuel economy, instantaneous fuel economy. All right, so I don't know who is going to be sitting through all of that. The distance to empty function estimates approximately how far you can... So maybe that's why there are no videos on YouTube for this CD. Because, I mean, this is, this is a five-hour long video right here. Vehicle's windows are electrically powered and can be controlled oh, with a look. simple switch. The window lock on the driver's armrest, when activated, prevents the passenger's windows from raising and lowering. To interact with this feature, click any of the red highlighted areas or simply... Yeah, I'm just going to turn it down a little bit. Entire feature presentation. Yeah, I mean, look, if they can spend that much time... Wow. Okay. All right. And this, this is just distinctive features. I think. Let me go back. <laughs> I don't even know. I know I clicked on one of those links, but holy crap. Oh yeah. This, this, this went into like some other sub module. I mean, look, they have a whole thing on the cup holders for God's sakes. Look at this. Yeah. I mean, the cup holders fold out from the leading edge of the center seat and are designed to over rotate from the seat when subjected to a heavy load. Okay, so, all right, so it's, yeah, I guess this is like the distinctive feature. Mm, I wish I had these fog lights, which my car does not come with. Normally controlled by the headlamp control. The auto lamp system also keeps the lights on. All righty. Yeah, I'm just going to skim through it at this point. I think what we can do is... <laughs> he just keeps talking. If you guys want to see something particular... Maybe I can make... Oh, rear seat controls. Okay, that's cool. Mm. Yeah, that's that uh, that signature L. That's nice. So maybe I'll make another video. If you guys want to see something in particular. Yeah, so this this kind of shows this video shows its age because by 06 the rear parking sensors, which is what this is. And this button have been discontinued because the sensors were built in into the rear bumper. And then this button, which was previously on the console up above, that, that no longer happens. So this is older. Power deck lid. Also known as the trunk. on the driver's door trim panel, the key fob button, or the keypad on the door. Your vehicle is also equipped with a mechanical interior luggage compartment release handle mm. that provides a means of escape for children and adults yep. in the event they become locked inside the luggage compartment. I tested that. To open the luggage compartment door from within the luggage compartment, The left lever on the steering column controls oh, okay. the windshield wipers and washers, which give you a quick... All right, so I'm going to use the mute on the laptop itself. All right, so as you can see, this is extremely detailed. I don't know who is this thing for. Like, if this is for an, for an older person, they're going to fall asleep. Oh, I love the cell phone. Look at that. 
parts and service. Look at that cell phone. Very nice. I don't even know if it's a cell phone. It's probably a house phone, actually. ...on providing an outstanding ownership experience. To that goal, we provide... Yep, so it does have a Lincoln Mercury uh, parts. So that's the part and parts and service. Here's complimentary maintenance thing. And that loop, that music loop just keeps playing. It does not stop. So it talks about the, the free stuff that you would have got back in 06 or earlier. Here's the accessories. What is it? Oh, love the older keyboard. Floppy disk right there. Oh, okay. So it just talks about how to go on the website, which I'm sure the current uh, website will, will not work. Okay, so these are just the four tabs above. And then I guess we can go into the exterior. And then the exterior starts right over again. So it goes on and on about every single feature. And here it... Oh, here you can press pedals again. This vehicle is Look at that. Anti-lock braking system, ABS. The ABS helps prevent the wheels from locking Jeez. up and skidding during hard braking, allowing you more control while steering. In an emergency, apply continuous force on the brake to help prevent... Wow. I am amazed. I am simply amazed. Click an option below to select the feature you would like to learn more about. I mean, really? They're going to talk about locking the door? <laughs> okay. Press the left portion of the control to unlock all the doors and the right portion of the control to lock all the doors. For more information, please consult your owner's guide. I mean, what in more information? I mean, what more could you want? <laughs> uh, headlights. I think we looked at it at the other video, at the other section. Yep. All right. Mirrors. Yeah, I don't know. I think he, what I'm going to do... All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click through these like as quickly as I can. I mean, it's already getting pretty long. I don't know how many how many of you are going to want to sit through all this, but it's shocking. It is really shocking to me that they were going to put so much detail. I mean, I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to make this as easy as they can for people, I don't know, for, for, for even who this would be, but talking about the PR&D, I mean, this is like essentials to driving. Like they shouldn't be worried about teaching people how to drive and like opening and closing the trunk. I mean, really? And I know how it's all interconnected. So it's like one section you, you press, it goes into another section and into another, all right? So here it talks about all the, the security. I mean, I can only imagine how long the instructions are to reprogram this code. Um, and then if you guys wanna see any sort of specific details about anything that, you know, you, you kind of see here. I mean, at this point, I'm just skimming through it. Oh, I love the wood steering wheel, although I think this is an older style of a steering wheel, not the one in 06. Uh, then maybe just leave a comment and I can just let it, this thing play out. I mean, this is a movie, interactive movie. So this is all in the exterior. I love this little graphic right here. Although this is on the exterior, but it actually shows you what it's talking about. So I just went through all the exterior ones right here. Then there's a, something on here called panel. I don't even know what this is about. Panel. I, I mean, they do have a newer style of a steering wheel here. All right. And then, yeah. So once again, it goes into all of the different warning lights and chimes. Talks about all that. Here we go again. Yep. All right. So they do have the newer style dashboard, which is what what I have. Indicators to give you important. 
information yep. about your vehicle. Yep, yep, yep. To interact with this feature, click any of the red high wow. areas or simply choose. I mean, they have everything. They have every light. This light illuminates to remind you this light flash. <sighs> this warning illuminates when the fuel cap is not installed correctly. Check the fuel cap and turn it clockwise. <sighs> yeah, by the way, it doesn't do that in real life. There's a little picture. When the fuel filler cap is Yeah, and then there's a little picture for that. Okay. Yeah, all right. All right, I feel like we already saw that. The last Speed control. All right, that's the last one I'm going to click in here. Okay. Yep, same thing here. Speed I can press. I like how they I can press these buttons. All right. So that was the panel. Here's the interior. Yeah. All right. Seating. Cup holders. Door locks. I wonder if it talks about the middle seat at all. Click an option below no, the no, it doesn't. Like so here's a little bit on the front seat. I mean, this video is already over a half hour long. Oh, okay, it does talk about the little hidden the lumbar. So that's interesting because I wonder how many people knew that. Is located on the front inboard side of the seat. Press the top side of the control to adjust firmness. Press the bottom side of the control to adjust softness. Hmm. For more information, please consult your owner's guide. Okay. And then the last but not least, safety. I feel like some of these are repeating. Select the feature from the menu to the left. Yeah, they're definitely repeating because some of this stuff, analog brakes was, I think, on the exterior. Tires. Yeah, warning lights and chimes. This is exactly what we just saw. And then the windshield wipers were on the panel. So, okay, so they, they kind of put everything they possibly could in here. And then what they did, they broke it down. Uh, so somebody like me would, yeah, like you see, we, we saw this already. Hmm. All right, well, I feel like this was kind of way too exhausting. Oh, I like the car. I like how they kind of put a white one with, I think these are fog lights. So that's a, I don't know if it's a signature L or whatever other 25th anniversary, 25th anniversary models or some like that. I don't know. But anyway, as you can see, this is very, very, very extensive. There's no way. To learn more about your new Lincoln, click on any of the featured there you categories go. in the lower right corner. Also, be sure to check out distinctive features and all of the links at the top of the screen. If you wish to visit Lincoln's official website, click on the logo in the upper left corner. Or to exit the CD, roll your cursor over the main menu yeah. button and choose the exit option. All right. So this is what I'm going to do. What is... Oh, my God. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to choose the exit. And I hope you liked it. What? It's designed for entertainment value only. It should only be viewed as a replace. It should not be viewed as a replacement for the supplement you received. Okay, so yeah, it gives that. All right. So I I don't know how well this video is gonna do, but this is uh this was interesting for me. Definitely more than I bargained for. I did not know that this was gonna go as much. I played with it for a couple minutes, but. Hey, I hope you like it, but now I know why there's not another video. So maybe I'm going to be the first one to even talk about this in details.